the harsh reality is that nobody else cares for you as much as you care for you. Welcome back to Nima Speaks, a place where I empower women throughout the diaspora. Remember, don't you know that a man being rich is like a girl being pretty? You might not marry a girl just because she's pretty, but my goodness, doesn't it help? With your host, Nima Speaks. Today, I wanted to come back and talk about mastering the feminine mindset. Now, recently, I did a video when looking at the psyche between black women and non-black women. And from that video, I got a resolution that we ladies need to go back to the basic. We need to go back to learning the basic of what it truly means to be feminine. As always, femininity comes in different shapes and form, but today we're going to be focusing on mastering the feminine mindset. Without further ado, let's go. First rule of femininity and mastering the feminine mindset is learning to communicate your feelings with grace. Now, when I say learn to communicate your feelings with grace, what exactly do I mean? This is something that I have been taught since I was little. It has been instilled with me that a feminine woman, when you're trying to get your point across, there is no reason as in to why you should use force. As a feminine woman, there is no reason as in to why you should be raising your voice yelling. There is nothing more alarming than a woman who curse like a sailor. There is nothing more alarming than a woman who cannot get her point across without coming off as disorganized. And sometimes I understand this, that as women, we are much more nurturing and we're much more in tune with our feelings. And that's absolutely okay. But what's not okay is for you when you're speaking to people and you're trying to communicate and express how you feel, you come off screaming, yelling. All that's going to do is you're going to make people shut you out. Femininity is all about understanding and making your life easier easier i posted this in my story if you guys want me to do a video and review this book comment down below but this book it's by vanessa van edwards and it's called captive the science of succeeding with people i am reading this book right now but what this book is going to teach you i'm going to leave the link down below for you to go and get it it's going to teach you the ability to be able to express your feelings with grace and communicate with people get you a point across live a f good first impression for me when i am expressing something when somebody does something to me that i do not appreciate i do not like instead of yelling at them instead of screaming and say you always did this and this and that i always make it into an i statement i will say something like i feel hurt when this and that happen. I feel sad when this and that happen. I feel neglected when blah, blah, blah. I feel blah, 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 blah. Do you get the point? Because when you use I statement, nobody else can debunk how you're feeling. I statement put people at ease and allow people to listen to you. Remember, femininity and having that feminine mindset is all about making your life easier the first thing that you should definitely go and get is go get vanessa van edwards book called captive it's phenomenal comment down below i might do a review the second thing is that if you want to express yourself and you want to talk to somebody so you can get your point across always use i statement my parents kind of instilled in me no cussing like a sailor it's not elegant it's not cute it's not feminine it's none of that ladies having a potty mouth it's not gonna help you get your point across i am just saying unless you're sewing <laughs> jokes 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 but seriously always communicate your feelings with grace because by you learning to properly communicate that's how you can get people to do whatever you want, okay? That's how you can influence people 
and leave a first good impression that leads you to being spoiled. How is that possible? Because I know how to communicate with people. I communicate with grace and communication is a skill that we can all learn and master. The second rule of femininity is exude happy energy. You may be like Nima. Okay, sis, this is the most BS video I have ever seen and, and heard. But hear me out. I did a, a little bit of an experiment for you guys. And I asked guys that I met, what about me draw you to come and talk to me? And from my survey, okay, from my survey and asking around, one of the things that I got is everything about me felt feminine. And I asked them, okay, what does that mean? Explain it to me. What do you mean I came out feminine? They say, first of all, you just look happy. You look happy. And I'm going to be like Nima. Okay, I want to be feminine. I want to get the feminine mindset, but I don't want to walk around grinning like a crazy person. And I am not saying go around smiling with a big old grin. That's creepy. That's weird. But what I'm saying is embody the feminine energy. Okay, being feminine, having that feminine mindset, it's all about your energy. What exactly does that mean? Being happy is a choice. Now, I know, I know, I know what you might want to say, Nima, say, oh my God, how could you say that? But being happy is a choice. Did you know that when you smile, you use less muscles than when you're frowning? When I am going out and about, I intentionally have a pleasant face. The first thing that I'm going to suggest for you is to learn and see if you have a RBF. I want you to look in the mirror and see if you have an RBF. You may be like Nima. What is an RBF? An RBF stands for a resting B face. Have you ever somebody tell you that when you just have your neutral expression, you look mad and angry like you're gonna fight somebody? If that's you, then you need to work on that. For me, in front of my mirror, I have this little smile that goes on into my face. I have this beautiful smile. I try to open my eyes a little bit to put my lip in a neutral position so it's not downward facing. This is another tip that I learned from Vanessa Van Edwards' book, Captive. She talked about this, to have that neutral expression so you don't seem angry. How does that get into with the feminine mindset? Okay, feminine women, they're happy. I'm not saying that if you're having a bad day, you should force yourself and be smiling and giggling. This is all about your energy. And once you are mindful, learn to exude happiness. The third rule of femininity, do this. Put the oxygen mask on you first. I'm going to repeat that again. Put the oxygen mask on yourself before you try to help anybody else. Now, how does this go hand in hand with being feminine and having that feminine mindset? People have a misconception of thinking that feminine women are push over. Feminine women, they give, give, give. They never get back. But that's not true. Once you tap into your femininity, you will understand the power that a feminine woman, she always put herself first. And this doesn't mean that you're being quote unquote selfish because I know some of you may go down below and say, oh my God, that is so masculine. That is so, no babes. Because even when you're on the plane and you have kids, what do the flight attendants tell you? Put the oxygen mask on yourself first. What does this mean? This means that if you're not fulfilled, if you don't feel your best, how are you expecting yourself 
to give to people how are you expecting if you are not recharged inside yourself you cannot expect yourself to be giving your energy away just being around people they drain your energy and i love to protect my energy okay so what do i like to do i love to recharge and refill my energy i love my peace i don't like drama for me i try to avoid drama with a 10 foot pole because i just don't like drama it drains my energy that's me putting me first what are some things in your life that you can take back control and put yourself first it doesn't mean that you cannot help other people that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that your needs should come first your well-being your mental health should come first you're not supposed to sit down listen to everybody else's problem it's going to take away the space in your mind rob you of your energy and then you become masculine how do women become masculine right because you are angry you feel angry you feel upset that nobody listen to you that nobody cares for you nobody appreciate you that's all what happens when you don't put the oxygen mask on yourself first if you got nothing from today's video this is the first rule of femininity that i was taught with my grandma when i was little she told me nima stop it stop doing everything for everybody else do for you you have to take care of you because the harsh reality is that nobody else cares for you as much as you care for you no matter what they say everybody is looking at themselves everybody want themselves to do good so as a feminine woman please 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 remember it's all right for you to take care of you and don't let people shame you calling you selfish don't allow other people talking calling you saying that's such a masculine trait yes being feminine is all about giving but at the same time we got to give to ourselves because we deserve the best that's how i feel as always ladies remember being feminine means and look different from different people you can be feminine and be short you can be feminine and being a boss woman what i'm talking about today is just one form of femininity and this is more in tune into your mindset now as always if you would like to become a part of nima speaks inner circle and get a shout out in my video visit www.patreon.com/nimaspeaks and become a part of the inner circle Circle. i know you forgot to hit that like button so quickly scroll down hit that like button if you don't like today's video heck hit that dislike button as always share this video with anybody else who you think is gonna benefit let's do affirmation of the day since we're talking about feminine mindset and the rules of femininity write down below i am deserving of peace and the flower emoji so i know you're a real one and you made it this far into the video as always na pinda sana all right we going what a money reside what a money reside what a money reside what a money reside and that's on who man had a little man